Okay, so we are recording. It's uh, Dr. Scott Geller, laser floater guy <laughs> in Florida, and we have a great patient from uh, Ontario. Uh, you're near Buffalo, did you say? Yeah, we're between Niagara Falls and Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. Near Buffalo. And you had a uh, posterior vitreous separation how long ago? Four years ago. Yeah. And since that time, what were your symptoms? Uh, since that time, I was seeing a lot of floaters, a lot of haziness, a lot of cloudiness. Mm -hmm. It was uh, getting very difficult to concentrate. They were always in the way. Okay. So, yeah, so and uh, you different. went to several ophthalmologists, right? I went to my optometrist first, and he sent me to two ophthalmologists who both said, you have to learn to live with it. There's nothing that we can do. I thought that wasn't a very good response, so I kept doing research for four years, and then I found Dr. Scott Geller on <laughs> the computer, and I thought, he's my answer. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they didn't offer a vitrectomy or anything like that, did they? Uh, the or they mentioned he, it, but they... He mentioned it, but he highly advised against it due to the complications that could happen. Yeah, and, and, and indeed, that's true. Uh, so you took a leap of faith, you came down here, which is great, and uh, I've I'm probably the most experienced in this anywhere. I like doing it. It's it's yeah. it's a challenge for me. Yeah. So so uh, actually, here's a video of what we did initially. You had a there's the edge of the vitreous there, and you had that mm -hmm. uh, hyaline opacity that's off to the side. But that wasn't the only thing. You had a little cloud that popped up every now and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. and I you know you, yours weren't the densest you know that i've ever dealt with but you know everybody's perception is a little different on these things for for whatever reason and uh i did what uh, th the first laser session was fairly dramatic mm -hmm. you say and, and yep. the second one incrementally was a little less yep. and we did we did four i just went after a few little spots yep. you always have to go after the uh that's a highland opacity so you always have to go after a little debris that may escape but we got it right. We did, yeah. And and we I uh, I hope to show you the video to your ophthalmologist. Didn't your ophthalmologist uh, you sent him a letter and he yes, said he refused to sign the papers. All right, right, out. right, yeah. right. But so, you know it's it's unfortunately and unfortunate that they just don't pick up a phone, you know, and say, hey, yeah. you know, I have a patient mm -hmm. here talked about what you're doing. What are you doing? I mean, How do you do it? Does yeah. it work? Does it not work? Well, obviously it works. You got to ask the patient. This is not a placebo effect, right. <laughs> and, right. yeah. and and uh, you know maybe if you tell them your experience, it might help the next person. That's right. That's yeah, the goal sure. too, right? All right. So have a safe trip back. Uh, you. Enjoy yourselves. And thank you so much for all that you've done. My pleasure. Thank you.